Hey guys, welcome back. This is the 30th video of our bootcamp series. In the last lecture, we looked briefly into the hashes. In this lecture, we're gonna discuss about the methods in hashes or the Ruby methods which uh, Ruby provides for operating hashes. So just like array, Ruby provides a lot of built-in methods for hashes and all such methods will be helpful in working with hashes. So let's discuss how we can get uh, that what methods are available for hashes so you can do this like first initialize a hash variable and then you just need to invoke just like array you need to invoke methods uh, method on the hash object and you will see this set of methods that uh, will be available for hashes so let us try let's implement let's create a hash object Hash dot new and just enter it. Now you can see that an empty hash has been created. Now just to call sorry, hash dot methods and you can see this is different set of uh, this set of methods. Okay, you can check like value, compare by identity, and there are so many methods okay so these these all are the methods that ruby provides for a hash object however we will not discuss each of these methods in in this video but we will look into a few methods and uh, rest of the methods you can try at your own and uh, if uh, by trying these methods if you feel stuck or if you need any help then let me know through the comment section and i will definitely help you so now let's look at some basic methods that uh, uh, we're going to discuss in this video. So these are the methods that we will discuss that first the empty method. Okay, the empty method will check whether the hash is empty or not and it will return a boolean true or false. Okay, and this method does not require any argument. So let's check it. Now here you can see that this is our hash object. Okay, now uh, we need to invoke uh, empty method on this just to check that whether this uh, hash is empty or not okay hash dot empty you will see that it is returning true why because there is no key value pair exist in the hash so far now let's uh, enter a key into the hash let's say key one Okay, now if you look at the hash, then you will find hash like uh, this and it means that hash has a one key that is key one and now if you invoke hash dot empty, you will see or you will get false boolean. Okay, it means that uh, if your hash has no key value pair, then empty returns true else it will return false. Okay, now the another method that uh, we will look into that eql okay this eql method check the equality of two hashes for example let us create two hashes here that like h1 equal to e1 equal to 1 e2 equal to 2 okay so this is the h1 and now let's say h2 equal to E1, one and E2 into two. Okay, now if you invoke the equal method, this one, the second one, equal method, then it will check whether H1 and H2 are equal or not. So H1 dot EQL, and then pass H2 to it, you will get true okay why because this method will check whether two hashes are identical or not and it will return the boolean true or false this method requires an argument and the argument should be a hash that need to be compared okay but you can pass uh, any other of the ruby object as well for example if you pass 
h1 dot eql 20 then you will get false okay so it just take uh, it just require an argument but if that argument is hash then it will then it may returns re, uh, returns true uh, if it is hash but if it is not hash object uh, or it is not the identical hash object then it will return the false value only okay now uh, here one thing that we need to focus that uh, you can see that both in h1 and h2 the order of key is the same but this method does not require the key to be in same order it just check the number of keys and the key will, uh, name of the keys should be identical okay and their order may be different so let's try with that for example if you have now s3 equal to and just change the order here e2 2 here and e1 1 here okay. now if you check h1 dot s3 then you will still get true why because the order is changed but the name of the keys are same and the number of keys are the same in s3 and h1 now if you change the values for example let's say create another hash that is h4 e1 let's say 100 sorry 1000 and e2 is 2000 okay now if you check h1 equal h4 you will get false why because keys are same number of keys are same but values are different okay so the both these hashes are not identical okay now we need to check another method that is key okay the key method the third method here is the key method check whether the supplied key or the requested key is present in the hash or not it requires an argument and always returns the boolean true or false for example if you check it like uh, let's say we have hash one hash here okay now let's call hash dot key and this argument must be key name in the array for example if you pass like uh, sorry hash i just write has okay so you you will get false why because the key with name key does not exist in the hash but if you pass it like this uh, the symbol you will get this is true that this key exists in the hash but if you change this symbol to string you will again see the error right because if the name is same like key underscore one and key underscore one but the hash has the symbol key one not the string key one as key okay so the key method will check whether a key present or not okay and the argument must be key name okay and it always is true or false now another method that we need to take a look that is equal eh, sorry fetch the fetch method will return an argument and treated this argument as a hash key okay for example if you sorry let me explain one more thing that if argument matches any of the keys in hash then it returns the value of matched key if the supply argument does not match any key then this method returns an error that is key error for example let's say if you use this h let's make it symbol you will see hello why because uh, this is the key in our uh, this is the key in our hash and which has the value hello but if you use fetch just try to use the string key one and you will get an error why because the key does not exist in the 
hash okay so the fetch method is used to fetch a value from the hash based upon the key supplied if the key matches in the hash or if key found in the hash then uh, this method will return the value of that particular key and if does not found then it returns a error now another important method that we need to take, uh, take a look that is equal okay now one can think about that uh, the equal method should work the method at number two that is eql so equal method also check the equality of hash and return the boolean true or false just like the eql method but this is different than equal method okay the comparable hash object must be same let me show you that here what we have h1 this is our h1 and this is s2 okay but if you use h1 dot eql s2 then you will get true but if you use eq equal s2 you will get false why because both h1 and h2 are the same hashes identical hashes but not the same hash object okay why you can confirm confirm it via h1 dot object id this is the object id of h1 and then s2 dot object id both has different object ids okay so these hashes are identical in terms of values and number of keys but these are not equal hash object or not uh, uh, comparable or same hash objects but if you do it like let's say uh, h5 equal to h1 okay and now you will check h1 dot eql sorry eql h5 you will get true why because h5 has h5 has the reference of h1 that means h5 and h1 are both the equal hash objects or the same hash object you can compare it like h1 dot object id and h5 dot now both h1 and h5 share the similar memory hashes so that's why h1 and h5 must be comparable uh, sorry must be same hash objects okay and these are identical to for example if you do like h1 dot eql will also get to why because both hashes are identical number of keys and values are same okay now we need to look at another method that is compact so just like uh, arrays the compact method will remove the keys with the nil values from the hash and works in both destructive and non-destructive manner so let's try how compact work for example let's say this is your h1 now if you have h1 and then e3 nil now this is our h1 hash okay and if you use h1 dot compact then you will see it has removed the key which has value nil okay so but if you access the h1 now then still you will see the uh, nil here so it means that if you call the compact only then it is non-destructive method but if you use like h1 dot compact not and now if you check your h1 then you will see that nil is permanently removed from the hash that means compact method can be used in both destructive and non-destructive manner so that's all from this lecture however there are a lot of methods that uh, we still need to know but uh, for moving forwards moving forward uh, i think these methods that we discussed in video will be enough for now and you can try other methods and your own and let me know through the comment section if you really like this and 
if you need it anywhere while practicing the uh, hash methods okay so now guess what it is the question time again these are the five questions that uh, what is the difference between equal and equal hash methods so we just discussed that and uh, if you forget then just uh, go back into the video and watch it again and what are the ways of getting a value from a hash we discussed that is using fetch method and what will you know how will you know that a key exists in the hash or not so using the key method that uh, that will return either true or false and what happened when you call sort method on a hash what does it actually sort keys or value okay and while comparing two hashes does the ordering of keys matter so it never matters okay so that's all from this video and uh, thanks for watching this till then tata goodbye and take care stay safe